This is Total War Gaming here, and we are continuing the the legendary the Fallen Church's Legendary Heroes Let's Play, and as the Iron Years. And remember last time, um, we I introduced you to all the basics uh, of Lord Market's Army. We got a Hate Stone, Parroted Wide, and um, and a Tear of Syndrome, and we leveled him up, he's a defender now, and there's these ruffians here. Now, since this is just the beginning of the episode, we are actually going to fight this one out. They've just got two ruffians and a wolf. We should be able to handle this. Yeah, they only... See, we have six units, they only have three. We have 38 attack, they only have 12. We have five defense, and they have zero. So this should be pretty easy. Let's go into the battle screen. Oh, what's it loads? be able to win with no problem. Okay, so I'm going to move my Cynotaph up to there and attack this ruffian. Okay, so the ruffian, they have 6 health, 4 attack, and 5 defense. And if we were to attack them, uh, we have a 66% chance of hitting, and we will do 1 to 2 damage uh, times 3. So basically, we'll, we'll either kill it or have it half dead. So we're going to attack. Oh, good, and we defeated it. So that's going to give our Cynotoph some experience. The, wolf, the wolf's attacking our militia. I'm going to move Lord Market up here and take out the wolf. Okay. And then we, there's just one ruffian left. The militia, they're not very strong, as you can see. They're just, like, your basic unit. They're the one you start with. So we're going to use an ability here, the Crushing Blow. Uh, launch a 12 damage attack, but you lose your next action. And this will hit... This will kill it if it had it dodged. Um, so we're going to move our Cynotaph up to here and then attack, and we'll take it out. So we we killed three ruffians. We uh, got seven experience for Lord Markin, three for the Cynotaph, and three for the militia. We kill, uh, uh, got four Gildar and a wolf pelt. Uh, so the wolf pelt's worth four Gildar, not that much. We're going to loot their camp. Search through the area, you find an item, plus one fame. The co the Codex of Hostin. Less a book of spells than a discussion of the Chandler's techniques. Supposedly written by Hostin himself, but widely believed to post his death by several centuries. This is going to be plus one spell mastery, so our spells will be more effective. No, we're not going to be using but many spells. I'm going to use it, and, um... Yeah, use. Okay, and so the fame here, um... Uh, we get our, once we get one more fame, we'll get another champion, so we'll get, like, another hero, and they can lead another army. Okay, so Tantaw Creek completed the merchant, so we are going to then build a monument, which gives us, a uh, plus one zone of control. As you can see, this yellow line is our border, so as, so this is just gonna expand it by one tile every direction. So that, and it will take four turns to build, so we're gonna build it, and as we build buildings, our city actually expands. The new buildings appear on the map. Okay, and we have Lord Mark in here, who we are going to move down to this shattered statue. We need to, uh, you find an item. Ah, Paradin Wine again. So we just have two percent more dodge. And so these, this, these are Hordy that had that had this under control. Um, and we had the res the technology, uh. Horse, horse ride, mounted, mounted warfare. We could harvest it, and will, and it would produce horses, and we could trade like horsemen. And then we have a fire shard down here, but we, but I don't think Tantalcrete's borders are ever gonna get down here. And you can't just settle a city anywhere. It has to have at least an output in one of the three types that I described in the last video. So we got some lost goods here. Crates lie beneath a handful of rotting tree limbs. They are coated by a thick layer of dust and crawling insects who have staked a claim to whatever treasures these crates contain. So we're gonna go there. Most of what the crates contain has been ruined except for a single item. The Wellspring Scroll. Use this scroll to heal all allies tw 12 hit points plus plus 4 extra per life shard. So this will give us just 12. Uh, so there's a ice elemental down here. Now it says it's medium and it says my army's weak so I'm gonna try to avoid it. Ooh, a quest. Okay, so we have an ancient graveyard here. We are not going to go in because there is because it is said it says that it is strong, but I am not strong. 
we got a ice elemental here apparently wanting to fight uh there's an iron horror here uh we get metal which lets us build new equipment but uh since this elemental is trying to attack us i'm gonna pull my guys back just go into the fire shard all right tanta creek completed their merchant well, monument, I should say. So we're gonna build a cleric here, which uh, reduces unrest, which makes them happy. So we're gonna build that. As you can see, we've got uh, there's our merchant, and there's our monument, and that's where Tower Dominion is gonna be. As you can see, our borders have grown. Ah, and our settlement has grown a level. Well, we are the well the conclave. Um, this is for uh research, and the name is conclave. And we have the fortress here. Well, the conclave it gives us a uh, plus three research per season, plus two production, and plus two guildar per season. We have the fortress, which gives us plus one level for chain units, plus two research per season, and plus four production, and plus two guildar per season. Then we have the town, which is plus one zone of control. Plus two research per season, plus two production, and plus four guild art per season. We are going to make this a town, and then we'll get different versions of it uh, as it grows. Now, uh, we are, I'm going to I'm going to explore up this way. Uh, we haven't gone this way, so I'll have Lord Mark and move through here. So we are continuing on in our world. Trying to survive. Oh, okay. So we got two clay pits here. Um, if we build a quarry, quarry on them, uh, we get production, which will make us build stuff faster. So I'm going to queue up a quarry on each of those. So once we get done with the cleric, and we'll build the quarry here and then the quarry here. And then we'll have a lot of production. Uh, as a research military technologies, I believe I would be able to build like a lumber yard in Tantakrete, which would give me more production. So, as you can see, this red line, that's how, how much damage our militia has, and every turn it goes down a little, because, like, they naturally get items that heal them. So, we got, like, it appears we have a lot of, we have a lot of desert. You can't really, this, it's very rare you could ever build a city in the desert. Uh, we got a crystal crack here. If we build a foundry here, it lets us build... Well, it, lets, it gives us crystals, which we use to uh, train units, I believe. Oh, uh, here's a city we could settle at. Um, it's a uh, five. Oh, and it's got a wild grade, which gives us uh, additional food. And we have Hanta Creek completed. Ah, we can get another hero here. So we have Raw Stormborn and Bannon Heisley. Uh, Raw Stormborn, once I walked up on the clouds, they still call it to me. He has... He knows the evade, haste, and propaganda uh, skills. Uh, the abilities, he has Mancer Blood, which gives him plus one accuracy per level, plus one moves, and he can channel lightning and an attack that converts your weapons attack to lightning. And then we have Bannon Heisley. Behold a paladin of industry, raging war upon idle hands. And so he ha he's a water participant. He, so he gets inspiration and the slow spell. He has a Marion Blood. Which has, gives him plus one dodge per air shard, plus one initiative per fire shard, plus one spell mastery per water shard, and plus one spell resistance per earth shard in combat. And yes, Soul Spark does two plus one per level uh, lightning damage to victim, and he starts with the unit with the spell with the ability command target unit takes its next turn immediately. We are going to choose Raw Stormborn. So as you can see, like another hero. See, we have Raw Stormborn. I'm going to leave him separate from uh, Lord Markin's army because we could have him. So, I mean, I'm probably not going to get him into any fights. But uh, I'll try to. Oh, and that looks like all the time for this for this episode, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time.